Greetings and thank you for joining us at futuremoneytrends.com. The Brexit vote has happened. Gold has surged past $1,300. Our guest today is legendary gold speculator, Doug Casey of Casey Research. Doug, thanks for joining us on the show today. Well, thanks, Daniel. It's always nice to be back with you here. Let's talk about our last call, actually. If you listen to the last interview, which we did in uh, late April, my goodness, uh, you've more than doubled your money. Gold is the one of the best performing assets in 2016. You nailed it. Uh, in, in you, you've, you've essentially called the bottom. You said where you were putting your your money where your mouth is. That you uh, that you learned over the 40 years in the markets. How high do you think gold is going to go in this run here? Do you think we're going to blow right past 2,000 and, and head to the three to five thousand dollar level? I think that's going to happen eventually because we're looking at a worldwide monetary crisis of historic proportions. You've got to remember that since the crisis uh, started in 2007, not just the U.S. government, which has printed up trillions of new U.S. dollars, but the Europeans, the Japanese, the Chinese, they've all created trillions and trillions of new currency units. And that papered over uh, what happened uh, in 2010 and 11 and 12. Uh, look at it as a hurricane, if you would. We went into the leading edge of the hurricane in 7 and 8 and 9. They papered it over with all this funny money, and now we're going out the trailing edge. And it's going to last much longer, be much worse, and be much different. And I believe we're going back into the hurricane, the trailing edge, this year. And there's going to be a panic into gold because those trillions of currency units that all these governments have created are going to start coming out into the, into the general economy and out of the financial system, where, which is where they've been residing, creating bubbles in stocks and bonds. No, it, it's, going to be something, it's going to be a very big deal. Yeah, all the more reason to internationalize your assets as you've advocated. And buy and and do buy gold. Gold stocks are a wonderful speculation at this point, but the most important thing is to have physical gold in your own possession because it's the only financial asset that's not simultaneously somebody else's liability. And that's very important at a time like this.